this this is something that I was I was really wondering, am I gonna be able to do this? The people here are so they're so incredible. They they really know how to help you how to help you work work around your disability. And they really they really show me ways to compensate to the point where I'm I'm really learning I'm really learning uh, uh, how to snowboard and I don't feel my foot at all I don't feel like I'm like I'm disabled like I have any any anything wrong with me. When I when I went overseas or when I when I got activated I was I was 19 years old I turned 20 while we were training to go overseas. I turned 21 in the hospital. You know, I went over a lot younger than I came back, and I really feel like, like I grew up a lot. I was a member of the 101st in Iraq. I was an infantry squad leader in charge of about seven other guys. November 7, 2003, a rocket propelled grenade came into the rear of the truck where I was standing. Uh, it actually blew up beside my right leg and uh, amputated both legs. And as soon as I got up from taking a knee, I got a sniper shot through my left shoulder, down through my insides, and it mushroomed into my lung, which collapsed it totally. And then an RPG, a rocket propelled grenade, blew up next to me. So I have compressions in the spine. The whole left side of my body is broke from waist up. I have nerve damage from here. I gotta keep moving my arm, it goes numb. And, uh,. I flatlined about four times. When I got to the field hospital, I had a sucking chest wound. My, both my lungs collapsed and it sucked all my intestines into my chest cavity. I looked around and, and I saw some guys that were okay with the fact that they had been injured and some guys that were upset about it. Some guys that were okay with the fact that they you know, were injured, but they didn't want other people to see them. They were embarrassed or whatever. And, I, mean, I can sit at home and be mad at the world and eat Cheetos on my couch all day and it's not going to help me and it's not going to help anybody else. I got a lot to live for. Uh, I got, you know, two kids at home and I got to live for them. And I got, I can't, can't sit at home and let my kid watch me just rot away on a couch or, and mad at the world. And he's going to want to do stuff when he gets older, play baseball and, and hopefully I can bring him skiing and, uh, you know, get him out and get him doing stuff. And I know he's going to want, you know, daddy right there with him, so. And this, this device I'm on is unbelievable. It's got a shock. I don't feel the, uh, the jolts in my back. I just feel little bumps in my leg. I'm learning to cut, and uh, I'm listening, and I'm learning. And I'm sitting here pushing my main instructor, Tom. Hey, let's go here. Hey, let's go there. You know, and I'm hurt bad. You know, he's worried about my safety more, you know? So being an infantry Marine, I'm ready to hit the snow hard, but because this unit is so soft that you're just gliding on the snow, and so with the most severe injury, you can do it. don't hear about the good stuff on the news. I mean, there, there are a lot of problems over there, and that's undeniable. But there has been some good. I said, oh my god! <laughs> you know, I signed up for it, so whether <clears throat> whether any of us believed in it or not, we, we did. We went over there for a reason, and we got, we got done what we needed to do, so. <clears throat> that, I mean, it, it really didn't matter what, what our feelings were. We're going over there to do a job, so we just did our job and came home. 
I wouldn't change anything. You know, a lot of people ask if, you know, if I change getting hurt or anything. I wouldn't change anything. It's just, it's just made me and everyone else that's got hurt stronger people. It's helped me realize who I am and how strong of a person I actually am. Just because you're wounded or you're, you got something wrong with you doesn't mean you can't go out and do something and have fun in life, you know? And don't worry about getting hurt all the time. I got a buddy who can't fall on his left arm at all because he doesn't have an elbow and he's, you know, they got all this equipment and he's not going to fall. And it's just absolutely awesome what they can do with it now and all the technology that's coming out, you know, so I tell them to get up off the butt and try to find something, find some help, you know. Don't be ashamed just because you're hurt, you know, but at the same time, don't let it get you down. I just had a blast, you know. This is probably the funnest I've had in my in my life. This was very, very, uh, very fun. It's just been awesome experience, and I, I can't, I can't. It's so hard to describe in words. And when I get better and healed up, I want to come out here and do this for people and show them that, you know, there's there's life beyond misery. You don't have to be in constant misery and pain and think negative. And, and this has definitely helped my life. Definitely. Thank you